in previous video we saw about how to do the hectare mapping now we are going to see about how to do the g mapping process for g mapping i gave the link in my description uh, we need to copy that link and uh, clone it into our rover description in rover description we have map in that map uh, for directory we need to copy that uh, g mapping link and uh, clone it to our map after that we give the cat king make now type cd src rover description and map in map after that we need to launch uh, always ross launch rover description display dot launch this command will launch uh, always node or this is nothing but is an visualization software right uh, i already mentioned gazebo is a simulation software always is a visualization software both are different now we launch uh, always after launching always uh, we have we we are going to see about g mapping uh, g mapping need a volumetry information scan what are the main three topics needed for g mapping is volumetry tf and scan this three topics is mandatory for doing the g mapping process we need to go to the directory and type ross launch g mapping underscore map dot launch this will launch a g mapping node after launching g mapping node we need to go to our avis and visualize what are the topics available on our office okay go to add go to my topics and see we have map add a map now it will do the mapping okay see for doing map we already created on close to surface for our robot in gazebo environment and we save it on to our directory so before doing mapping process you should have an unclosed surface without closed surface we, we can't do the mapping process okay okay we have different types of algorithms doing a uh, slam uh, simultaneous localization mapping without that uh, process we can do the mapping how it's possible means you have your floor floor map or floor blueprint okay your home you have your home for that home you have some blueprint option okay or image of that blueprint we need to convert that blueprint using a, some python script we need to add that blueprint to our python script and enter or give, run that uh, script that script will be convert the that image or blueprint into uh, two types of file environment for navigation stack .yml and pgm okay we did not need uh, this types of g mapping hectare mapping directly we, you have a blueprint of that uh, house or that factory you can convert that blueprint into map using that script i will give that also into my description after running a uh, g mapping node do the robot tell you operation using a ras run tell you operate to sticky keyboard dot py after did the map save the map using a ras run map server map server dot and give the directory which file you should save that map Now after running ras run map server map server uh, gives the name of the directory you will see there are two types of file format is available dot yaml dot pgm that pgm have a threshold value of 0 to 255 in white and black gray scale occupation grid values in yaml you have information about a threshold orientation of map resolution of the pixel it will be available on dot yaml you see the accuracy of both g mapping and hectare mapping is same but what's the main reason i am using a hectare mapping in my all the project is without volumetry information we can do the mapping process is an advantage for beginners so only i am using a hectare mapping process in g mapping we need a volumetry but 
most of the videos and project will be based on hector mapping in upcoming video i am going to post how to do the mapping using a blueprint of the house okay you see we have both pgm file format of hecta mapping and gmapping in right side it's an gmapping in left side it's an hecta mapping and this is an dot yaml for hecta in right side hecta mapping left side gmapping that both resolution and orientation is same you see there uh, nothing is changed the accuracy level and precision level of mapping is high in both in uh, both uh, mapping algorithm okay thank you uh, after this video i am going to post about how to do the navigation stack using amcl and moon base algorithm after i am going to uh, a pleasure to share that uh, in upcoming video tutorial i am going to uh, explain about isaac ross omnius isaac ross is an advanced topic of uh, ross are in uh, robotics with uh, what is the main uses of using a omnivers isaac ross means we can make a synthetic data analysis realistic world like environment into our uh, simulation